Hello, everybody. This is Karma here, and we are on a Wednesday operation. Time for a nice operation on Fool's Road. This operation is called Fallen Tree, and it'll be featuring the Russian versus uh, militia sides. We'll have an overview of the uh, operation kits and objective here shortly. But uh, this is a nice evening for squad ops. Um, we've got everyone in here. It's a full server. We've got a uh, 4v40 one life event. If you're just joining us, uh, squad ops is a one life hardcore tactical immersive uh, event that happens multiple multiple times a week. And you can head over to squadops.gg to find out more. My name is Karma Cut once again, and I'll be hosting this operation. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's jump right into it. The teams are now all loaded in. They're getting their briefings to the, together and making sure that all of the uh, squads know the plan. But uh, yeah, we're just uh, getting ready here. Yeah, why is everyone so quiet? They're nervous. Matter's gonna pull out a pistol. Do we have a lot of newbies? As always, on our Squad Ops official streams, we have multiple camera perspectives. We're going to be cycling through a couple of those cameras right now. Um, but yeah, on the official streams, the streams where we do have our man behind the scenes, Penn, mixing the streams, we do have multiple perspectives for your viewing pleasure. And so that's what we're going to show off right here. To join Squad Ops, all you have to do is sign up at squadops.gg to find out more information and then join the Discord server. You must, of course, obviously own squad. I can hear you a lot better now. As always, right, every man, month, squadops.gg runs a giveaway that is emailed at the end of every month. So if you're looking to get squad and you want a chance to win squad for free, go ahead and check out the giveaway at the squad ops. Uh, the twitch.tv slash squad ops channel. There's a giveaway link in that channel chat as well as a description, I believe. <laughs> Why is your rocket out, sir? Uh, I think we're waiting on two squad. and a few, few people from four. Shallows. It's a glitch. It's a glitch. It's just on your it's side. A glitch. It's a glitch. <laughs> We're going to zip on over to Russia, and uh, as we can see, they're getting ready for their briefing. The uh, goals of this operation are for the Russian team right, to go through six uh, possible Stranger. enemy locations and find the enemy vehicle. Uh, we're going to be showing you an overlay right here that will give you a general overview of the assets and mission objective for this operation. Uh, that will be rolling right now. As you can see, one of the changes that we made to this operation, this information is just a little bit outdated. Uh, the Russians get one times 30 millimeter MTLB, not BTR. So that's that one change. And then the second uh, balancing change that we made is a... Uh, that the militia gets one scout car instead of two, and that scout car cannot move. So as you can see on the screen, you have six known locations of the militia possible fob. Um, Russia has to go through, search and destroy through each and every one of those points until they find the militia and then destroy the scout car. All right, as we can see, Russia's all good to go. They're getting their briefing done right now. We'll go over the squad leaders and uh, commands for this operation. Uh, for squad leading on the militia side, we have Truth Realm, Merrick, Nasty Nate, and Pure Paradise with Xbit commanding. And on the Russian team, we have Best Pony, Silas, Hitchens, and Burns with Shadow Ritual uh, commanding. So we got a good amount of seasoned... Uh, squad leaders and command shadow and expert are one of the two season commanders over at squad ops in addition to myself and a few others
Yes, this is the first round at Squad Ops. We run two rounds every event. We were on a uh, normal first round, and then we swap sides so that both uh, teams get to experience the other side. However, we have rolled out our first Squad Ops campaign, which we tested on Monday, Labor Day of this week. Um, that had great success, and we look on uh, improving it and hosting more campaigns in the future. Campaigns are identical to our ops in the feel and um, hardcore immersive gameplay. However, they're different in the fact that each uh, successive round is dependent and dynamic dependent on the first round or the previous round. So assets change, the maps change, depending on what happened the previous round, uh, the second or following rounds are change, uh, change with it. As we can see, we do have a good amount of Russian rocketeers here. It'll be really interesting to see how Russia decides to assault the uh, the point. As we zip over here to uh, militia, it does appear that militia has chosen the mine as their location. So as you can see, Militia has decided to choose that mine location. They'll be staying here and defending the scout car for the duration of the operation. Please wait until you see an admin broadcast message stating GG. Once the operation has message stating GG. Once the operation has ended, we ask that you do not commit any team kills. There is an auto ban in place, and if that doesn't get you, a staff member will ensure the problem is taken care of. And I guarantee you I will ensure that it's taken care of. So, please do not team kill once the operation has ended. Everything that I've just read serves as your only warning. If you so choose to disregard these rules, Squad Ops staff will kick you from the server. You may come back in. So, as you can see right now, we have one of our event admins, uh, CMYK Matter, in, and he's doing the briefing of what makes Squad Ops different from uh, General Squad, which is making the environment more immersive, making sure that you know, players are, are maintaining that level of hardcore and uh, immersive teamwork that we look for at Squad Ops. Uh, just a reminder that these are one life events. So you only have uh, one life. And once you are down, you revert to spectating the operation. It uh, doesn't really matter for you. <laughs> I just wanted to know. Uh, I think it's Shattered Ritual. Is Expert on my team? Yeah, it's Shattered Ritual. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got you, buddy. Anybody else? Any questions? Is my face gone properly? Looks like it. Nice follow, Kotler. I'm so <clears throat> You guys ready for the uh, command brief? We're going to the Russian briefing now, as the Russians are now starting their briefing and their plan for this operation. Commanders do have a good amount of uh, free reign when it comes to the operation. Uh, they can go where they want. Uh, so when they want, so the, long as they uh, complete the mission station. parameters within the set uh, amount of time. Uh, four will proceed east to check out mine entrance. From there, once we're sure that we're not going to get ambushed on either side, we're going to then proceed clockwise around the map, checking out the six points with the green fob markers. Four, one, two, three, four, five. The last one is here. Cool. Yep. And uh, that's how we're going to approach it. This is just the general starting plan. Once we actually figure out where the objective is, we're going to discuss with the command comms how we're going to encircle this uh, objective depending on the locations of each of your squads. So just listen to them for the uh, fine details. Are there any questions? Cool. If there are no questions, squad leads break them out for final details. I will call for live. All right, as you can just see, uh, the Russian brief has ended. The squad leaders have their plans. They're going to set and get ready. Militia should be wrapping up and starting the uh, brief soon here. And then once t both teams have their briefings uh, completed, yeah, the we'll squad. set for live and the we'll operation will begin. All right, as you can see, Merrick here getting his guys ready to go, making sure that all these assets and vehicles have the proper drivers and gunners and making sure that, you know, everyone on the militia team is set to go. All right, let's, uh, let's do a platoon brief right where matter is. 
so that way they don't have to move. Are we waiting on Dipsy Spawn? Hey, firm. Go for it. I'm already done. You should go on the. It's gonna be coming. You should go on the we catwalk and wait talk to us. We should probably wait for Blink to spawn in. No. I got this. Hey, back to us. Sir, let me heal you. Let me heal you. All right. You should just yeah. Uh, we should form a circle on the catwalk, encircling them. All right. Uh, soldier. I'm handing that, it over to you, Abbot. I'm gonna go cool. ahead and switch into admin cam for the event. You got uh, three point. Thanks, Matter. We need minimum four point. Or ship me. I sharpened it all day. Hi, right, guys. All right, give me a court martial over here. I'm getting some. All right, give me a court martial over here. I'm getting some. So everybody gather up and wait. Up below. Lights, comms, comms, comms. Everybody's got to understand the plan. Where is he? Up, up. I'm floating around. So check it out. Oh my god. This round we are defending the mine entrance. The objective for the Russians is. I'll do my turn. Okay. Get right I'm under him. downstairs him. because I don't want you guys to have uh, any question. Here we go. Okay, we're, to our job is to find the mine entrance. The Russians' objective is to destroy the RDM, which is parked inside the garage here. Squad four will be defi uh, defending the mine entrance building. Uh, he will set out assets as he sees fit and give fire team leads their assignment as he sees fit. Uh, squad. Three, Nasty Nate Squad will be setting up to the west in the hills or around the MG mark. He will either take one Dishkateki or put down an MG, his decision. Once again, uh, his job is to hold that so that they cannot flank to our west. Squad 1, True Throne Squad will be heading north into the hills and hiding out somewhere around the Green Fob mark. As in case the Russians decide to flank us on the north side. If they don't and they make contact at mine entrance, they will then proceed up behind them and flank them from behind and hopefully push them into mine, tr mine entrance and uh, cause a lot of casualties. Merrick squad's got the fun duty. They're taking two or three uh, techies. They're going to drive far north and then far east. And their job is to come up behind the Russian platoon once they've established contact with us. Uh, hopefully being able to put a couple of rounds of the SPG-9 into the MTLB and, and or using the Dishka techie to... Uh, rape the uh, Russian infantry if they're in the open. If they don't see any contact or if the entire Russian platoon is in the hills, they'll go ahead and proceed into the hills and hopefully cover either our east side or our south side of the mine entrance, wherever we're getting the most contact. So it's a pretty simple defense. We've got two squads on the point, one inside, one outside. We've got a flanking squad to the north that we can QRF to either uh, either push the Russians into us or prevent them from doing a wide flank to the north. And we've got one mobile squad in the, in the techies that will should be able to handle the MTLB uh, with ease. Are there any questions? I love it. All right, squad leaders, break them out. Can we uh, position the uh, BDRM a little bit better before we start? Yeah, whatever uh, Pure uh, wants to do with it. Yeah, I, I just dirt worked it. Alright, as you can see, the Russians and the militia now have their plans. Uh, we're gonna go off and show a little overlay here. Um, the first thing that uh, we really want to be talking about Reminder is the fact that the Russians get the MTLB and the militia and and gets an SPG techie and a Dishka techie. Even if that person is dead, you can use the numpad directly with six to talk to me. Um, so if you have anybody fucking around or, or backshooting or doing any shit... Alright, the SPG techie, as you can see here, is an anti-tank yes. technical yeah. that has a... Recoilless rifle attach. It's fast. It's deadly. It can do a lot of damage to the uh, MTLB We're gonna throw up the uh, overlay again here Just so you can get a nice shot of it. This transport truck. Is that an objective? No, just leave it there. It's bait. Good cover. Once they blow this thing up, it's all right. And off. just like before, we have the Dishka yeah, Techie. Park, park in here. That's fine. It's an anti infantry 
fire support truck similar to the SBG Techie. The only difference, of course, is that it has a dishka attached to the back rather than an SBG recoilless rifle. So like Alright, so militia's all mounted up and ready to set the defense. So, yeah, is, are they taking all the dishkas? Do you want one? Looks like they're going to place one squad up on the hill, one squad in, and then uh, have this techie strike team pushing out. And a live time has been determined and set. Uh, we are going to be live in exactly 35 uh, seconds here. Th so 35 seconds uh, until we're live. Um, and the oper operation will begin. Uh, teams will be uh, moving out. And we'll see how uh, Militia can hold the mine. All right, Russia's all set. They're mounted up, ready to push out here. We're live in 15 seconds. Yeah, it is. If there are no other questions, we'll be getting started right now. We are live. Enjoy, have fun, guys. And we're live. Russia is leaving Russian main. Militia is pushing out from the mine. I'll bring one back. As you can see, these techies are pushing out nice and fast across the east road. They're trying to get eyes hey, get down out, this out, valley, out. making sure that the Russians don't push up this side. It does place look, it, however, that the Russians here. aren't opting for that first bridge. Instead, they are opting for the second bridge around the corner. As we can see here, Merrick's techie is not going to be able to see both That's these right. armored vehicles crossing the secondary bridge. We have a full Russian transport here about to cross this bridge. And they're off. Hopefully this uh, full transport does not get spotted and engaged because uh, that could be a, quite a devastating loss. It does look, however, that the Russians are going to dismount here, set security, and push out on foot from this location. Um, it does look that they opted to bring the MTLB after the transport techie. That's an interesting uh, choice. I would have uh, preferred to put the MTLB in the front to protect the transport, but it looks like they're opting to keep that armor safer than the infantry. We're going to zip over here to the other Russian squads and see uh, what they're up to. Looks like they're going to be crossing the river at the midsection. Yeah, we're taking it up to Nate. What's up, Got man? a nice little file going on here. What is this? If you do get engaged, you actually can aim. Squad three. So they're about to cross the river on foot. Uh, do we have... Uh, can I uh, put an emplacement down? What a beautiful map Fool's Road truly is. Yeah. Can they make it here? I don't think they're going to be able to make it here, but... Over command comes on the militia team. It does look like that Russian team across that south bridge did get spotted. Militia could be setting up for an engagement here soon. It looks like these uh, squads are going to make contact within a couple minutes here. We have a militia squad set up on the hill overwatching um, this south hill that the Russians are about to crest. And it looks like we're about to have first contact. We'll see if uh, these Russians get spotted on the crest of this hill. The 30 millimeter starts opening up oh God, on the contacts on the hill. I'm yeah, not sure if he's caused angry, any casualties yet, but he does have good eyes up on that hill. Hold that technical short. We'll meet you there. Merrick is go, on go, the go, uh, go hill go. on the west of the objective. He's the one receiving the 30 millimeter fire. Uh, we'll see if he can do anything to either get his squad out of that uh, engagement or if he can counter engage it with the uh, dish right like, They may need to go four wheel drive in. Uh, As you can see, 30 millimeter rounds coming in. We do have one militia casualty already. The first casualty was. Who is this? Who is this? I can't see who that is. Oh well. Squad three, nameless. Sure he's a he's a nameless Russian soldier or militia soldier. Copy that. We're gonna be dropping our dishka now. Yeah, they're shooting at that west hill. 
Merrick's orders are to still hold this hill, even though he has come under 30 millimeter fire. Looks like we're in the clear. It's not channel. always shots, man. It's just the nature of the game. But no health settings have not been. South three, you're gonna start crossing in the Echo Four line, and uh, try and get around them on their east. We're gonna hold this MTLB back. Copy that. Shadowed Ritual is on the uh, Russian team here. He's setting the Russians up to engage the mine. As we look at a general overview, um, we do see that the Russians have split into three main squads. We have a center squad, right squad, and left squad. With the 30, mil 30 millimeter pulling up the rear, um, you can see how the Russians have spread themselves out across the South Hill. But the uh, militia have spread equally three, on three, the objective. We have one squad on the objective, one squad on that west hill, south, and a squad far on that high ground to the away. northeast. Uh, uphill on the ridge right near that mine on the ridge. Right now, I'm assuming Shadow's just trying to get all of his guys online, getting eyes north and into mine before he makes a uh, maneuver. So you want to come? You want to attack them from the south using the MSR? Yep. Yeah. If infantry takes the heights above this, the MSR, then I can pull right up and wipe them. Copy. I'm going to pull my guys on the east side. If you want to send me like a two bu uh, a buddy team, we should be able to hold your east. And then if you got guys on your west, we'll be able to hold your high ground. I can send you my non Three has contact. Team, three has contact three inside mine. Copy that, three. Across the street. Copy that, three. Um, hold your position when you get across. Or keep, keep trying to move north uh, when you get across, three. Keep trying to maneuver. You're going to come in from the northeast. As we take a look at the uh, bigger picture, it looks like this right Russian squad has been given the order to maneuver around the flank of mine. However, there is a militia squad. I believe this is Truth Realm squad up here on the hill, and he is set to ambush this Russian squad if they get closer. So we'll see if uh, the militia can execute this ambush appropriately. There's a squad leader up here. He's scanning, but these Russians might get in too fast and beneath his uh, line of sight. One times trans. Copy. It's crispy, unfortunately, the first casualty of this round to that 30 millimeter BTR. Just Rest in peace. Yep, copy. All right, all squads are just getting south hill, southwest. Merrick is uh, deciding to take these techies on the far west. Let's see what he decides to do. He has two vehicles here pushing far west southbound. I believe this is an SPG and a Dishka, shielded Dishka techie. So it's a 30mm uh, hunt squad, I would say, is what these uh, the objective of this squad is. Yeah. They're about to make contact. We'll see how well of a flank they can uh, pull off. Command, Nasty Nate now engaging. Oh, get down, guys. Get down. Shadowed uh, is taking okay. shots Dishka's at the mine. From the, uh, north we have a Dishka miners. emplacement uh, set up on the mine to, to return fire on that hill south hill. Both technicals on the west as well now engaging. Two, you're gonna go 30 millimeter trying to trade shots with the Dishkas, trying to suppress the objective. Yeah, let's see where they set up that Dishka. As you can see here, we have one Dishka within the mine. We have sandbag emplacements all around. This is the scout car that the Russians are tasked to destroy and find. And uh, yeah, pretty much a solid uh, initial defense right here with sandbags and um, infantry watching the entry points. Yeah, bravo. Keep on going north and look over that ridge, see if there's anyone. Same thing? Not yet. Holy crap. Truth Realm Squad is about to get walked up on. We have guys within 10 meters of each other up here on this hill. Shots out. We got contacts. XF, we're now spectating. We have contacts within each other about 15 meters from each other on this hill. They're struggling to get control of this. Copy that. Hill. There is They're a wishing, Russian yeah. squad leader already down. Nasty Nate, or Truth Realm, excuse me. Truth Realm squad is still up on this hill. They're contesting one to one. Truth Realm might go down here to this Russian soldier. We'll see. 
Oh, true thumb just in the uh, nick of time, zips, <laughs> just zips right out of there, just completely abandons the hill. But yeah, Russians slowly taking control of this hill. They're trading shots back and forth. This is a really close engagement. Uh, this is just a great showcase of just how big squad is. Like, the map is is huge. The map is immense. But the combat ranges, the, the actual ranges at which you're engaging enemies, can be as close as 15 meters on some of these maps. We got a good frag here from Sunny. I think that went over, though. Stand by. Truth Realm trying to get control over this hill. Squads throwing frag grenades and smokes back and forth. Uh, yeah, copy that. Those, we got uh, militia wounded, casualties on both sides. It doesn't look like either side has definite control actually, over the yeah, hill yet. The Looks like both teams are actually opting to abandon off the hill. Russians retreating back southeast, and the Objects rush and the militia uh, pulling off north northwest. So interesting. Neither out. squad committing Shadow to the hill. Uh, both kind of pulling back. Up. We're going to shift over and get a look at uh, Shadow's south assault line here now. Shadow's assault line taking fire from the 50 cal, or the Dishka, on the hill. That Dishka is trading with, uh, with the infantry. They're getting pushed off that hill. You can see that fire superiority really playing a role in this firefight. Militia, uh, Russia having to pull back because of Militia's... Uh, Support assets. Where's that MTLB from Russia? Russia is still looking like they're keeping that MTLB tucked away. Uh, they really don't want to lose it. But I'd say at this time would be a uh, you know decisive moment to. to pull the MTLB up. And as I say that, we hear the Go MTLB's ahead. engine turn on, and we can the, see this uh, vehicle start pushing up here. Uh, we lost eyes on the top of the hill, but they were pushing the top of the door to your left. Shadow opting to get that MTLB into the fight. However, do remember that we have Merrick's technical squad on the far west, and they might have a great opportunity here to swoop in from the west and tag team this MTLB. Copy. We're trying to get eyes on that. Did as we can see here, this assault line pulling off the south hill. That technical did do its job, forcing this uh, base of fire to move westbound. We'll see where uh, Shadow decides to set his next uh, position. But that technical really deterring that south advance. Yeah, we are, we're um, that This MTLB still has yet to get any closer into the fight, holding at the crossroads. Uh, you got to remember that Militia has a lot of assets that can take out this thin-skinned vehicle. Though it is armored, it's extremely vulnerable to both Dishka fire, SBG fire, and uh, pretty much yeah, you'll, you'll that's, that's it. <laughs> I, I don't have a fire team lead, so I couldn't give you um, command or uh, comms. Yeah, there's two, maybe there's a full fire team to the north. 30 millimeter trying to get eyes on the uh, on the mine. It's probably at the cross They are right in now. a very good position here. If anyone decides to go into that second story of the mine, this MTLB is going to take their heads right off with the 30 millimeter. But yeah, Russian's West squad actually managed to get pretty far. However, there is a militia squad that's already read this movement, and these Russians could be in a pretty bad spot if they're spotted. Right now, they're almost sandwiched in between two militia squads, and it does look like they have been spotted. This Dishka already facing the hill. Can you give me a distance? Oh! One Russian gets spotted by the Dishka. He goes down. You can see Militia using these technicals to great effect. This single technical has done a great amount of area denial. As well as uh, just producing casualties. There's another Dishka. I believe it's in place. Yes, there's an in place Dishka, shielded Dishka, up on this western position as well. And it has good eyes on the western hill, but it is taking fire from a uh, Russian squad on the south. Militia taking RPG rounds on the technical. We'll see if it goes down. It does look like it's been hit once. Suppression from both teams coming out.
And this Russian squad that was trying to push out west is in a very bad spot. Flanked on both sides. Rockets coming in. AR fire. Militia has taken a few casualties, but this Russian squad is pinched. Oh, it's coming. Pinched. It's coming to us. It's coming to us. Ready? Ready? Shadow Ritual, however, has got ears on enemy technicals to their west. This is Merrick's technical techie, squad uh, on the west. Squad, we'll see if they can catch the technicals right west. here. I'm techie zooming in north on... North I might get here right in time. Shadow has eyes on the technicals. Let's we'll see if they're able to up. disable this squad. Merrick's squad taking fire immediately. Shadow putting rounds on target. There's an RPG here. Yeah, Let's see if he can get, nice get a uh, hit on the technical. One RPG goes out, hits one of the technicals. We'll see if a second one can get it. Yeah, Technical right down due to two RPGs. Good situational awareness by Shadow Ritual. Catching this flanking squad. I'd say it's pretty even right now. We're looking at a, at a pretty even split. Merrick, of course, leading that SPG and uh, Dishka Technical hit squad is down. And this squad has been reduced to maybe two two members so it looks like both flanking maneuvers from either team have uh have been spotted and destroyed this russian technical team goes down or the militia technical team goes down and the russian flanking infantry squad has taken massive amounts of casualties we can see that the hill that truth realm was uh, originally on both teams just deciding to just Back off the hill, neither one committing. This hill is now empty. And I think that's a I don't know. I think that's a pretty that's a pretty from a commander perspective, I think that's pretty unique where both teams decide to uh back off. Two, what's the sit rep over there? I killed my squad leader. <laughs> Fucking squad, All right. dude. I swear to god. Once again, we have people Ready, within five meters Ready, of each other pursuing or on this western hill. This Russian squad is right next to one of these uh, militiamen. Are you asking squad one? No, three. They have good 360 security, but this yeah, one like little they're... sector is not being covered at the Plus cliff. Right Who is this? All right. Giant yeah, boy man has an opportunity here to uh, cause some damage. Supposedly they're really close. At least militia like sweeping this hill. Arrow. Russians trying to maintain 360 right, uh, degree to security and hold this hill. Bound into the mine entrance complex, or across the hill to where Silent Death is. Giant boy crawling up here. Copy. We'll see if they, he's able to get anyone. Over, um, it's literally so three get meters from time. this guy. Oh my gosh. He gets spotted. All right, what was that? Han Von Solo here is the next closest uh, right, militiaman to the Russians on the west. We'll see if he's able to hey, make a play. We can hear that MTLB what rumbling through the woods, and that is now a legitimate problem for Russia for militia as they've lost their techie hit squad. What's up? Han Von Solo choosing to back away from the hill. Let's zip back on uh, over to the remnants of uh, Merrick's techie squad. Looks like they're trying to retreat as fast as possible away from the engagement. Am I, am I, am I, is everyone getting in or am I just going over there? And yeah, just Merrick's assault no, on the flank right just absolutely demolished. Both the technicals the abandoned, one destroyed, uh, but the uh, Dishka techie still up. Or excuse me, this is the SPG techie. Let's see if we can shot. find that MTLB. All right. I've so, seemed to have lost track of the MTLB. Oh well, we'll see it. We'll hear it. We'll hear it rumbling around. To the east. We had a squad to the east. I hear this MTLB so far out here. He's just trolling around on the far west. Let's see if he's trying to get a uh, good shot on the north. Xbit coming over militia command comms to consolidate uh, the rest of their defense forces. Yeah, I 
engine is more than likely going to cook off and not shut the engine off, which a lot of people just panic and jump out. So there's a fire. calling in the rest of his uh, forces uh, to try to consolidate around the point. His western flank has crumbled as that uh, technical team and infantry on the west have gone down. However, he still has a full squad over here on the northeast. They're going back up to the hill. Um, I'm not sure whose squad this is. I believe it's the remnants of Truth Realm's squad. There's no there. We should probably leave someone on that. Han Von Solo, part of this team on the north who's set up in, in a line. They're going to kind of overwatch the objective from here. As you can see, the mine is kind of fishbowled within this valley, allowing the militia to kind of get good eyes on from outside of the compound as uh, the inside of the actual mine complex has limited views uh, because there's no windows except for the second floor. Um, both teams now slowing down their pacing. Militia trying to get a grasp on what's going around mine, and Russia trying to find a good point of attack. Looks like these two squads over here have spotted each other. This Russian squad getting low. They might have eyes on uh, enemy contact. I'm not sure. They must. They must know. Or well, they must see something. What are they doing? Both teams kind of playing back. We'll see who gets spotted first and who doesn't uh, decide to engage first. Squad one's command. Hey, boogie this is command i'm curious as to what russia is doing they're, they're kind of pushing yeah, really far over here on the west MTLB and uh or sorry uh SPD. it might it, it looks uh, like they think it's in train or are they just going right, on a really wide flank i think uh come to me i don't know come. all right i think what we're gonna do we're gonna we're switch gonna over come. to shadowed ritual and see what he's uh listening into and commanding uh, four no three What's it like over there? What's your contact like? Uh, RS went down. This one be cool. We want to be up. We need to meet you. We're, we're, we're going to rally near Ammo Hill. If any other command goes down, just tell everybody to rally near Ammo Hill, and we're going to move from there. All right, guys, we're going to move east, north, and then to Ammo Hill. We're going to meet up with the rest of those people north. So this is break contact. I think I don't want to go like north all the way and then come in from like the direct north. I want to try and get to Ammo Hill and then maneuver from there. I think that's as far north as we have to go, really, to avoid contact. Sounds good. Uh, is everybody good on stamina? All right, as we zoom out here, we can kind of get an overview of what is going on. As we can see, Militia, the western flank, completely destroyed. We have a couple guys, maybe four uh, people over on the west, trying to make their way back to the mine from that technical squad. We do have Militia forces in the northeast hills holding that overwatch, uh, which is a very key location for this objective because the objective is within a valley. However, we to look at Russians attack plan and they have a very wide angle of attack going on here they've completely pulled off that initial south hill that were they were using to engage from and they have now dropped an mtlb plus infantry squad off at the north they're trying to probe the hill on the right with a fire team and they have two squads worth of infantry pushing in from the west so this compound is about to get overrun from the north west and east uh and which is a complete 180 from that south attack that that were they were initially committed on They've still got one tech unaccounted for everybody, so just keep that in mind. Plus the actual objective, which is... XF, part of this Russian squad, pushing north. Looks like they're trying to link up 
one of with the MTLB on the MTLB on the Northern Road. Militia has called out this MTLB on the North. This thing is quite the dinner bell. You can hear it for, you know, I'd say almost 500 meters out. Uh, the engine's off right now to, to kind of hide that sound. But the second you turn that key and that engine comes on, you can hear this thing Squad for 500 you meters. Engage the uh, MTLB. All right, cool. Russians here in the open on the uh, lowest part of the valley could be a very dangerous position as militia does have uh, troops on the elevated positions looking down into the valley. So if uh, R militia can catch these guys in the open in the valley, it could lead to some devastating casualties. This XF gets spotted by a militia team here. They start receiving small arms. We'll see if the MTLB turns it, uh, its engine on and rolls in to uh, kind of support this squad. But uh, militia having a good kind of spread here, are able to get eyes on this squad on the northeast. Shots going back. Militia and Russia trading small arms. D4, sub eight. That northern squad opens sub up eight. trying to assist and alleviate this, uh, yeah, third person is this suppression. Um, trade, do you have a frag round? If you have a frag round, you can engage with it. As you can see, XF's fire team finally gets some, uh, some pressure relieved from their uh, sister squad on the west. They're able to push back the militiamen. And uh, they're going to try to maneuver out of that position. Smoke's going down to uh, mask their direction. But yeah, this two-pronged attack from the north with two elements moving up at the same time. They're able to cover each other with a crossfire. As we can see, this initial militia fire team that opened up is now getting pretty pinned from two different angles. It's starting to form up, guys. It's starting to look good. Someone flanks uh, XF's fire team. There's a saw up on the hill. He's in good position. He has eyes on this entire fire team in the valley near the smoke. He's receiving small arms fire. He's got a saw, though. Let's see if he starts putting down fire. No, looks like he's going to back off to the southeast. Copy. What's the uh, fire team to the west doing? I don't have comms. They're the leftovers of two. This militia fire team on the west Shit. does not have comms with the command element. They're trying to regain local comms by getting closer. But they might get cut off behind this Russian squad over here on the north. If we take a look at the kills, it does look pretty even right now. About 10 for U.S. Or, um, excuse me, 10 for Militia, 12 for Russia. Though I do believe Militia is taking a, a couple extra casualties because they're in those, uh, those uh, technicals. We'll see what happens. Thirty millimeter now pushing militia back off this northern position. These guys are gonna have to fall back as they're heavily outnumbered and outgunned on the north. You can hear that MTLB just crawling through the woods. This militia rocketman goes down. And I feel like Militia is rapidly running out of assets to deal with the MTLB. This thing could turn into quite the beast as we near the end right, game. One and three, go ahead and break contact and come into mine entrance. Call goes out from uh, Militia uh, Command. Expert says to abandon back. all current positions and fall back within to the Squad within the command uh, within the uh, bunker. Russia, as you can see, closing that net. They're sweeping in from the, all the way from the west to the north. Ready to move north. North. Okay. Still a good amount of uh, militiamen left alive ha here now within the compound proper. We've got a guy over there, Panda Scope, who's can tell us what's up. They have found. They have found the last techie. As you can see, militia are getting pushed off this hill one by one due to overwhelming fire and numbers. They're going to be falling back to the uh, compound itself.
A couple lone militiamen caught out here. Let's see if he's able to actually do any damage. Looks like he was able to tag one player up, but he is now spotted. You want me to post up? I got a nice little spot I can post up right here and catch people trying to come in. Or do you want me all the way in there? Yeah, copy that one. If you just make sure you don't get pushed off that hill. Ten four. Yeah, let's try working our way south. Now. Squad, be advised. Can I see these people north of us, in between us and like squad two? Copy. Let's handle that. Say again. North. Yeah, that's what they just said. What was that last? Can you repeat it? As we can see, Muff is uh, over here looking for that one guy on the left. One down. He sees him and he goes down to a one tap. Typical Muff. Russia now has control over the outskirts of the objective. They're right, going to push in slowly here. He's going to give you some spots to set up. If there's men around it, um, destroy it. Better and militia is now buttoned up within uh, the compound. So okay, unfortunately, uh, militia was not right, able right, right, to get rid of the Russian MTLB off the start. So that thing is going to be pretty much a beast as we roll in here closer to mine. Four, I think dealt with it. Go ahead and pull back. Uh, and start trying to assault. Um, my medic and ladder are gonna hook up with you still. Place this position. Thing I've heard. Okay. Expit comes over command comms on militia side. He's gonna send a fresh squad out from the mine while recalling the injured squads. Don't block it. Russians taking their time as they methodically push through the woods, getting closer and closer to mine. Uh, We're hitting a small lull here as both teams kind of shift their paces from the, the massive amount of maneuvering and flanks to uh, more methodical defense and assault. Hey, uh, there, my scout has eyes on enemy forces approaching the gun emplacement to the west. Where the IED is Russian going. spotted on the Got west. That. They do have an IED planted over there. We'll see if that's able to detonate. Keep spreading out the line, guys. Nada, I'm just seeing it now. Oh! Oh, I thought the MTLB hit a mine. No, it did not. It, it, uh, it hit the technical. That would be so be, be aware of that machine gun east of us. I doubt anyone will run up to that, but just be aware of it. Got about two squads up here on the west, pushing in now. With MTLB support on the road. MTLB spots an enemy uh, militia squad on the far south now. MTLB is engaging this Russian squad, is pushing in. If, uh, if whatever squad has that IED, would, now would be the time to detonate it. I'm not sure that mine's still up. Let's see who would that be? That would be Nasty Nate's squad. Oh, he is up. Silent Death is up. So we'll see if uh, Silent Death de detonates. If he can give me a good location, I can I can hit those guys from here to the southeast. ID goes off. It's just a little bit too nice. early. Does not catch any right, Russians. Scout says that was late, but it might have still gotten. Scout car zero eight two east inside. Squad, the I want to serve a line, not just club. Scout car sighted inside mine entrance. Russians now pushing in on this western hill. Trading fire. There's an MG on the second floor of the. Uh, Warehouse. Russians engaging right, now. Guys, Trying to put that suppressive fire. No one actually has eyes on. Firing. That northern hill also now engaging this uh, fire team. Shots being traded back and forth. 
ball goes out to put depression on the windows. You can see that shift in the fire. But that saw is doing a great job of pinning this entire fire team. Shots from both ARs being traded back and forth. He goes down to the saw. And Russians now kind of uh, kind of pinned on this west. Oh, bro, they're looking for our heads. Guys, we're pulling back. We're pulling back a little bit. Pull back. Start moving. Is that scout car active? Is that that noise? I feel like that's that noise. Oh, yes, it is. Yep, yep. Remember to do short break. They're in the uh, scout car now. And this scout car has great eyes on the uh, Russian squad up on the hill. It's short. But it takes 50 on the 14-5. The MLTV, correct? One. Take it out, yes. But the issue is it's a 30 mic, so if you get first, it doesn't matter. <laughs> This saw gunner still up here on the uh, on the catwalk, laying down fire. New place for you. Follow me. Sorry, what? Over here, yes, buddy. yeah. Gotcha. Hi. Copy. Right here in case has sent a small fire team out here. Who is this? This is Paradise. He's taking a small fire team to flank this position on the west. He's going pretty wide on it. We'll see if he's able to get that flank in time. Oh, dang. Who is this? Are these guys up? No, these guys are dead. That Eastern uh, fire team got slapped around while we were watching the uh, saw engage. Where's the command? XF is, uh, looks like Russians are setting up a. Overwatch position here on this western hill, not that they have secured it, setting up a small uh, support by fire area as the rest of the platoon moves in from the north. Before? Pretty cool to see those deployable sandbags being used by the riflemen. You can see these guys are now covering that MTLB uh, we'll plus here. infantry squad as they move in. We might be getting some action here as these guys reach. Yup. Once we're in these storage containers, we're smoking. MTLB engages one of the trucks, destroys it. We have Russian infantry now pushing up to that truck. Looks like they're going to try to smoke off the entrance. We're going to have a couple... Uh... We're getting close here. They're smoking it up before they push in, waiting for the smoke to billow. Put across the open ground. Everyone pop smokes. Yeah, a lot of smoke here covering that Russian movement along the south. Thirty millimeter trying to shoot into the compound through the walls. We'll see if that has any effect. Frag grenade goes in the compound. No one's in this uh, first room, however. BTR, or uh, excuse me, the scout car is still watching that eastern hill or scratch western hill. He is able to pick up a kill. And this Russian infantry squad now pushing in the breach. Stack up on the walls, guys. Watch those sandbags on the left. I got audible on their, uh... Hitting that wall. Radio. Very coordinated. Watch it. Watch frag out. out. There frag could be someone out. watching it. Frag's gone. 
Russians have eyes on the uh, scout car, I believe. Yeah, he hits the scout car once to see if he's able to get a second shot in. Second shot hits the uh, scout car. Scout car is going to go down. MTLB pushing in as well. That scout car should pop after two direct hits. Scout guard goes down. Russians complete their primary, object primary objective. Now it's down to see how many casualties uh, they'll come out of this engagement with. So primary objective for the Russians has been completed. Militia gang pretty pinned within. Russia still stacked up on these walls trying to find a breach point. Frag grenade going in. He might be able to get this guy. Oh no, that's a smoke. Never mind. See, Russia just wrapping itself all the way inside the compound. They're taking room by room. And it's coming down here. This they even rolled the MTLB inside. The MTLB's inside. MTLB goes down. Russian MTLB down, but they have breached the building. The floor. The Russians floor. are now in and around the building. Going room by room, grenades, frags, smoke, small arms. It's all happening oh right God, here. IED goes off, gets about five Russians. That was a that was a big IED. That was a huge IED. All vehicles from both sides are now down. Militia's trying to hold on with all they've got. They've got maybe four players in the compound. Three trying to breach the side. But there's about maybe 11 Russians here trying to breach this compound. SKS comes outside, gets someone, al someone along the, uh, the outside. Shadow just went down on that side to that SKS. RPG comes around the corner. Shadow, Shadow's, uh, oh, this SKS is gonna do work. This SKS is doing work. Russia now whittled down to just five men. Maybe six. Maybe four? Four Russians are now up. One of the two of them on the roof here. Bodies everywhere. This Russian's got a frag grenade. He's he's gonna try to underhand toss through the through the windows. Someone coming up the ladder behind him. Oh, this guy's gonna get both both of them. Guys, guys, you need to be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> he finally throws the grenade! <laughs> wow, he held that grenade for the longest time I've ever seen anyone hold a grenade. You got the guy on the roof? Yep. They're dead. Oh, and one Russian left here. People are forgetting about the vertical, uh, the vertical angles. And SKS's did so much damage that round. I want to look at the scout kills right now. But I do believe that is GG. That is GG. Let's take a look at the scout kills. We have five kills on this SKS. Two kills on this SKS. Seven kills on this SKS. Jeez, those SKSs, man. You'd think that they'd get the least amount of kills, but they, they did some serious damage right there. And that will be round one of squadoffs.gg's Operation Fallen Tree. Thank you so much for joining us for round one. We'll be right back with round two. Once again, we do play two rounds, and we'll be witnessing the same operation, but from the... Uh... No, the same operation. Yeah. 
Uh, at this point in time, I'd like to uh, thank Penn for uh, mixing. Once again, we're going to be streaming that second round coming up here soon. And if you have not yet already entered our squad giveaway on our twitch.tv channel slash squad ops, uh, we are giving away one copy of squad every single month. So the uh, once again, the uh, kind of overview, Russia was able to destroy their primary objective but they suffered massive, massive casualties, losing all their infantry and all their assets in the process.